Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Brandy Gibbs and I have a haul for you guys. I picked up some goodies while I was out this week shopping and I wanted to share them with you all. I went to Sephora and I was looking for some mascara and if you're following me on my channel you probably already noticed that I've been shopping um, for mascara lately. I picked up some drugstore mascara and I also picked up one from MAC. This one right here which is the Extended Play from um, MAC is the Giga Black Lash. I like it a lot. I like the drugstore mascara that I had picked up. I wasn't too fond of, so I figured why not just stop into Sephora. And this is why I have a haul for you guys. Okay, the first mascara that I'm going to show you is from Lancome. That's the box. And it's the Grandiose Mascara Wide Angle. And it says it gives you lengthening, curve, and um, volume. I tried this once and I use this once and I noticed that with this mascara it gives you length more so than volume um, it separates the lash but it is not as black as I like it uh, to be so uh, that's one of the reasons why I picked up another one and the second one that I picked up is from Givenchy and it's the New York volume couture extreme volume mascara this is it right here, number one. Let me show you the wand on this uh, grandiose before I move on. But this is the curve wand. That's the the second one is from Givenchy. And this is it. Very cute packaging. Both are um, really nice packaging. But I knew instantly when I tried this one as well. And I wore the uh, mascaras on each eye lash. And this one right here. Let me show you. The wand. Mascara gives length volume. And it also uh, gives me that black that intense black on my lashes that I'm looking for so uh, if I had to choose between these two I would go with the Givenchy but they're both great uh, mascaras moving on the eyeliner I was using the wet n wow from um, I was using the mega liner from wet n wow and it's a okay liner but it doesn't dry as fast as I want it to so I picked up the Sephora real nights waterproof gel liner and this is in black. Yep, black. And it's not open. I haven't used it. Next yet. from Sephora, I picked up the NARS lip gloss, and it's in the shade Istria. If I'm and saying that this right. This is the swatch right here. Kind of sheer. This is like three coats. And um, if I had to recommend this, I wouldn't because it's not as pigmented as I like my lip glosses to be. So. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I'm okay, the next product that. that I picked up oh. is a rollerball, and it's from Juicy. I picked up this rollerball because I wanted the Gold Couture, and when I looked, I said, oh, okay, they have the Viva La Juicy and on the other end. There. So this like is a uh, great fragrance. I like Viva La Juicy. It's like an everyday fragrance. Both of them are everyday. Uh, gold can be worn, I would say, at night, Viva La Juicy in the morning, but if you're like me, I'll wear them anytime I feel like it. Uh, this is a great product that you can put in your purse also. And I also picked up some samples because um, I'm interested in anti-aging products. I need to get on it. Um, one is a retinol from Philosophy, um, Algenist, you know, lotion. And what is this? Paracone Plasma Moisturizer. So, yeah, these are some... Uh, samples that I got. In the mall, I stopped at Macy's and I picked up a concealer from Chanel. I wanted to try this out and this is the corrector and it's supposed to be a long lasting corrector. Number 42 Beige Golden. This is it right here. So I'm going to give that a try and see how it works out for me. Um, then she put in some samples of uh, La Lift which is a firming anti- wrinkle skin cream so through in a foaming in cleanser so i'm going to use that too and then i looked over to my right and i seen mac so i just stopped in there and i was just browsing around real quick and i seen this color it's called right Photo, here which and it's a satin color and i don't have anything like this in my collection it's a brown 
so I'm gonna swatch that and it doesn't feel like a satin on the lips it feels more like a cream sheen to me in my opinion but that is something that I wanted to try out I picked up a liner I was watching YouTube and they had a burgundy liner I wanted to try out so I got this burgundy pencil I was looking for a fall color and she recommended me to get sin let's watch that too and sin is a matte that sin I picked up a concealer NW35 it's a pro long wear concealer Just to give me a little highlight underneath my eyes. And I also went into Nordstrom's like two weeks ago. And I never showed you this purchase. But it's the Moroccan Oil Treatment. I wanted the big um, bottle. And this is in a 3.4 point. I didn't want to order it from Amazon. So I picked it up at Nordstrom since they had it available. And, it, and I like this because it's not heavy. It's lightweight on the hair. And it leaves a great shine. Especially when you're flat ironing your hair. So I wanted to show you guys that if you're in the market for a nice serum and um i also picked up a fragrance and this is from Hannah mori and it's i think their number yeah number eight and i think it's the limited edition fragrance and that's the bottom and this is a 3.4 fluid ounce and a toilet this right here is it smells so good um i own the one i think it's called butterfly i was looking back there trying to see make sure i own butterfly and it also smells good but when i smell this it has um i can't tell you the notes but it has some kind of like a cherry fragrance kind of floral but not too floral it just smells really nice so i've been wearing this hey you guys lately. well that will complete my haul video um i want to thank my new subscribers that hopped on board i thank you all for subscribing to my channel i hope uh you find this channel interesting and if you ha and if you have any questions or concerns don't have down below to and, I and i will answer them at my earliest convenience with that being said you guys have a great one and i will see you in the next video bye bye